What's up, MMA fans? Today we are catching up with a jiu-jitsu coach of AKA, Leandro Vieira. How are you, my friend? I'm good, man. Glad to, to see you. Now in English, right? We, we haven't been <laughs> meeting each other, talking, talking to each other in Portuguese. Now we're here in English. Yeah, that's great. You're doing a great job in AKA. And, and tell us about, uh, we just got the news that uh, Makachev will face RDA, Rafael dos Anjos. And last time, Rafael said, okay, I accept to fight Makachev, but if I win, Khabib gotta, ha gotta have to come back to face me. Uh, what's the truth about that? Did Khabib accept that uh, challenge from Rafael or not? Look, I think that's a possibility, right? I mean, like they're, they're grew up together, trained together, you know, like uh, Khabib retirement. We know there, if there's a fight that makes sense, he would come back. I think if that would be a, a thing like to, to Khabib comes back, that might be a possibility. You no, know, to come back and revenge your, your friend, your, your brother, that might be a thing. But honestly, I don't see, I don't see Makachev losing this fight due to the, the amount of training and, and, and progress he hasn't been done to this point. Um, it's a fight that he's been looking for. It's a fight that he wanted because he knows he wants to fight those, the guys at the top of the list, you know, he wanted to, to grow in the, in the division. And he was looking for this fight, and he got the fight, and it's a good fight the, kind of the way he wanted. It's a five-round fight, so it's a, I, I see that long run as the fight is going to give Makachev a, a leverage. And I'm expecting, you know, Makachev to come out like Khabib does his game, take down, and smash, and, 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 and keep the pressure, and eventually a submission. It's very hard to stop that control it's very hard to stop that game plan and that's why i believe he's gonna be the champ it's pretty soon uh you train with both khabib and, and makashev people say that makashev uh dc says that a lot that makashev is the new habib uh what is the difference leandro between habib and makashev it's, man, i think i feel i see if, Two difference, like main difference that will make it the, the, the it will give Makachev a better opportunity or better chance, right? First is the, the, the opportunity that Khabib had done, right? Basically, Khabib had no, have, have run to his way to, to this championship where not much supporter, right? Nobody knew him, you know, it was hard for him to get the title shot. And once once he got to the title shot, you know, once he got his career, like by the middle to the end, you know, like that's where people start to know who it is, you know, UFC was giving him the spotlight. I think Islam has that now, right? Where as Khabib is out, you know, he has all this spotlight on him. He's ready for that because they'll be training together, you know, and like they've been together for this much longer. And, I, and the craziest thing is like the potential and the money that Khabib has now to support and make Makachev's career uh, everything that he needs, right? Training, you know, traveling, bring the coaches around, you know, like things that he himself didn't have. So this self, I, I believe, is one thing that is going to make a big difference. Along, of course, I see Makachev being the new guy, new, new champion, because he has, I would say, he has the same, he runs the same pattern of Khabib, Technique, um, is, um, um, uh, power, strength, but he's a little bit more consistent and, and, and sharper than his technique. He's a little bit more technical. Uh, both of them has open mind to learn and improve, and you see that improvement for every fight. And and in a and I think for Michael Chav, he's he has everything that he needed, right? Better, he has in the first spot than um, Khabib was at this point. He has all the support and money that Khabib had made until now. You know, he has the spotlight, has everyone look at him, and now he needs to do his performance and fight as good as he, he, he can. Great, Leandro. When I think about the rival, uh, rivalry between wrestling and jiu-jitsu, 
I have to consider the fight, the historical battle between your brother, legendary Leonardo Vieira, six, six kilos facing a uh, marker in the, in the absolute semi quarter final, if I'm not wrong, of ADCC 2000. And I was there, I have a shot where, where uh, Kerry is trying to take down your brother and your brother jumping everywhere. Sheikh Tarnum rocked crazy, everybody got crazy. He stood up the arena cry, uh, uh, screaming for him. Uh, uh, by that time, Jiu-Jitsu community was pretty close. They don't accept uh, people from Jiu-Jitsu world teaching wrestling for, for wrestlers, I mean, in MMA. And of, of course, today the world has changed a lot. And, and you are training, you, you are in the best wrestling camp in the world, a.k.a. How do the Jiu-Jitsu <laughs> community face that? They call you Creonte? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, thank God. Thank God a lot of stuff has changed until now. You know, I had that ma mindset, too. I grew up on that mindset, you know, like a respect and, and, and raise that Jiu-Jitsu flags everywhere we go. But when it comes to Jiu-Jitsu, we learn that it's a team. You know, behind a champion, behind a fighter, we have uh, so many people to help that guy to be a champion, right? And we, I learned that at the, when I first stopped at AK. I was just one more two to help those guys to become your champion, right? And in that aspect, we, we all know each other's point. We all know each other's uh, good and best, right? We're trying to, to take from each other's best. And I knew like I have something special on me that Jiu-Jitsu, I practiced Jiu-Jitsu for more, my entire life. I started very young at, at the age of six years old. And I knew I could help this guy, right? And with my knowledge and, and, and of course, because my brother, Liu, that has done everything that he done, right? I got to AK with a lot of respect already without me to show anything. They knew me, they knew my brother, you know, but the closer we get, the more comfort we get, we're still making joke, making joke to each other when it comes to jiu-jitsu, rest and sambo. You know, we respect each other, but we never, never have a chance, lose a chance to make a joke. And I used to say in jiu-jitsu days where I teach, uh, I make fun of uh, Daniel Cormier, DC, about like, oh, jiu-jitsu is better, you know. And then the wrestling, they are, when he's a coach, so he's the boss. He say whatever he wants. That's when he says wrestling is better than jiu-jitsu. So we play, we're playing back and forth, uh, but we know – uh, each each uh, sport and each martial art has your your benefits, and we know they need to be combined to make an MMA champ. And we're there for that. We respect each other, along with the jokes. We know each other's train. We can't be a champion by ourselves. And also, Le uh, Leandro, to finish, uh, one thing is really important about AKA that is changing the the when you see when you talk about knee control, you think about Habib Nurmagomedov, but Actually, I, I remember back in the days, your brother, you, and you guys doing that a lot in jiu-jitsu, the knee control that makes Khabibi doing uh, his such a positive game. Uh, tell us about that, how, how, how it came from. Yeah, we did, we did a, a work. Growing up in jiu-jitsu, we learned like that leg drag, one of the technique that everybody talking about, everybody does right now in jiu-jitsu community. This, uh, I remember was brown belt when Liu started doing that, right? Liu started doing the leg drag and, and showing us. And, I, and that was a new way to pass guard. And the funnest thing, I saw some videos of um, old footage of the Gracie family training, and I see some time our leg drag back in the day. So basically, my brother Liu didn't invent anything. I believe, like, uh, as a process of learning and evolving jiu-jitsu, you're going to end up going to the leg drag and smashing the knee over there. When I, once I got the AKA and had the opportunity to work with the fighters, I saw that the KC or the leg drag position would be a very good position to control your opponent on the ground, maintain the fight on the ground, where you're going to win the fights. Beside that, you have your hands free. So use your, your legs and your hips to control your opponents. Your hands are free to strike or work on submission, right? Uh, I didn't know that until I started working with the fighters. It was a very new thing for me. I never had a, put myself in that position as an MMA instructor, but I knew I, I had jiu-jitsu and I knew I could help them with jiu-jitsu. 
I just don't, didn't know how. By the time I would start learning the, the MMA and learning how I could help them, that's when I figured out the KC would be a good tool and, and not just was good, but changing Khabib Nurmagomedov game, changing Daniel Cormier, King Velasquez also had some changes on his game too, right? But the guy that showed the most, the guy that was able to show the most of that improvement was Khabib. So far, he's the one that I say I play around the KC is a knee control. And now I changed the name. It's Khabib Control. It's not knee control anymore. That's the name of Khabib now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Leon. It was a very nice talk to you. Thank you, buddy. Have a good day, man. Thank you for, for inviting me. Very happy to share my, my experience in MMA with these guys.